Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nigel Ivey and I'm an elopement videographer based in Ireland. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the top five locations that I would recommend for your elopement. So let's jump into it. And in spot number one, I would recommend Dunluce Castle. It was built, I believe, in the 15th century, so it's pretty old and it is just amazing. The location is awesome. It's right on those cliff edges. Whenever I go there, I, I just can't help my but think to myself, that's just insane. Who would build a castle somewhere like that? But somebody did and it's amazing. So I definitely recommend it. You can get married inside the actual castle so you can write to the people that own it and run it and you can ask them for, for permission. I believe you have to pay a fee for it. I can't remember exactly how much it is, but to be honest, I actually don't recommend that couples do that just because I don't think it's the best option. So for my couples, I always say to them, get in touch with the farmer that owns the land next to the castle so it's kind of in like this cove that goes around the castle and you can actually elope right on the cliff edge and have Dunluce Castle as the backdrop which is just awesome and that's what I always recommend to couples so I'm in touch with the farmer and whenever couples want to elope at Dunluce Castle we get in touch with the farmer we organize it we pay him a fee to be able to uh, access his land and have the ceremony on his land just to help him with upkeep and obviously we don't want to just trespass and and do something illegal like that but we want to make sure that we have his permission etc and so Dunluce Castle is right up there definitely recommend it in its spot number two is Kinbane Castle. I love Kinbane Castle. It's a bit of a walk to get down to, so you park at a car park, you have to walk down these steps. Don't know how many steps there are, but probably takes about 20 minutes to walk down there and a little bit longer to walk up, probably just because uh, if you're like me, walking down is way easier than walking up. But the castle is actually situated right on this like peninsula that juts out from the land. There's like cool caves underneath it. There's kind of like cliffs that drop off that that peninsula so it's quite high and like just rounded a bit i guess i'll show you some drone footage it's pretty epic but that's a really cool spot to choose for an elopement i shoot there pretty often it's probably one of my favorite places to go on the north coast because it's usually not as busy as other locations a little bit more secluded there's more space that you can move around and stuff like that and from an elopement point of view it's quite a rich location just because you can shoot different angles so if it's been raining a lot there's a section near there that has a waterfall and if you can get up close to that waterfall it can look awesome and you can go to one side of the the uh, peninsula and there's literally cliff face drop offs there awesome sea and like a big rock cliff on that on the one side of that and you can actually go out on the peninsula itself as well and then you have these awesome views of the surrounding land and things like that the castle itself similar to Dunluce castle kind of like a protection defensive type approach and yeah it is really epic there's a lot of options there to shoot from and for a ceremony and even doing portraits afterwards it is awesome so definitely recommend Kinbane castle location number three is Ballantoy harbor now Ballantoy harbor is gotten really famous in the last few years mainly because they filmed parts of game of thrones there so i'm not going to spoil it and tell you what they filmed there you'd have to come and shoot an elopement and then we'll we'll explore those locations but it is pretty epic there's a load of diversity there you can go from like beaches to like this big black uh, stone wall and these really cool rock formations and things like that loads of different options a couple of islands near there which just give it like this this is awesome uh, vibe and I just love Ballantoy it's such a cool spot it's a harbor as I mentioned it featured in Game of Thrones so it has quite a bit of diversity there you can have sort of more landscapey sort of vibes in your shoot and then you can also have kind of a harbor more sort of rustic quaint Irish harbor type vibes as well so there's loads of options there but Ballantoy Harbor is epic can shoot at both sunset and sun sunrise so it's really good location number four is Dunsevric Castle now Dunsevric Castle is very old it's actually not known when it was built because it's that old there's records of people being baptized there by St. Patrick many many years ago long time ago um, but obviously because of its age there's not a lot of the castle left when you get there it actually uh, it looks a little bit strange because you literally have these two towers and that's all that's left of that castle But it is awesome to be in a location where you know people have lived there for 
thousands of years probably and it's it's a really cool spot like it's so unique where you have like this bit of land that juts out the castle is literally built on the top of that bit of land and you have these two like valleys that go alongside it obviously for self-defense and stuff like that i don't know why it was like that or whether they chose it or built it like that or whatever it's cool and it's a cool spot for elopements there's loads of diversity there similar to kinbane castle where it has quite a lot of uh options that you can choose from so you can shoot from way back and get this sort of grandeur view of everything you can go right down into the valley and there's kind of a meadow there in the summer it looks awesome with this with the grass that grows there and reeds and things like that and obviously working with the castle in the backdrop and stuff like that there's loads of different options a kind of a little rocky beach down there as well and i can easily shoot there for 45 minutes or an hour and not even exhaust all of the options in terms of angles that you can get and things like that so i would highly recommend Dun Dunsevra castle i think it's probably one of the most underrated places on the antrim north coast and it's one of my favorites um, i think i say that about all of these locations but Dunsevra castle really is one of my favorites the only thing that you have to watch out with Dunsevra castle is depending on the time of year and or time of day and what the weather's like if you have really harsh sunlight it can be difficult to shoot in so it's a really good location if it's overcast or something like that but because of how steep the hills are and kind of those valleys you often if you get harsh sunlight and if the sun's at a certain angle you just get harsh shadow lines which are difficult to work with from a photographic point of view doing either video or stills but apart from that it is an epic location and it's probably a go-to for couples really if if there's a, a, ever a couple that is not sure where to choose i often say dunsevra castle it's not as well known as dunluce but it looks awesome and the imagery you get from it is amazing I'll, I've, you would have seen some drone footage that i put into this video from elopements that i've shot there and i'm sure you'll agree it's pretty spectacular so i would highly recommend dunsevra castle so, so far, the first four options in this video that I've given you as the top locations in Northern Ireland for elopements have been on the Causeway Coast or the Antrim North Coast of Northern Ireland. Option number five is not on the Antrim North Coast, but it is equally spectacular and I absolutely love it. And that is the Mourne Mountains in County Down. Now, the Mourne Mountains are awesome any time of the year but my favorite time of the year to shoot in the morns is winter because it has a lot of heather and all of the grass and greenery and everything goes like a ready gold color and it can just look awesome when you get the mountain snow capped and you have that dark rich color it just looks amazing so i've tried to shoot there quite a bit over the last winter and i always recommend to couples if you want somewhere unique and awesome in northern ireland the Moor Mountains are awesome. Interestingly, C.S. Lewis actually supposedly wrote quite a bit of the Chronicles of Narnia when he was staying in the Moor Mountains. So that's kind of his claim to fame, but it is really spectacular. The scenery is amazing. Like I said, in winter, it's epic, but it's beautiful all, all time of the year, but winter is just like, it's right up there. But I always enjoy going to the Moor Mountains, love shooting there, love exploring there with couples. So if you're looking for somewhere unique that's not popular off the beaten track in Northern Ireland, the Moor Mountains are right up there. I'd highly recommend them. So let's just talk for a couple of minutes about Northern Ireland and why it's such a good place to elope. In my opinion, it's one of the best places in terms of value for money that you can get in the world where there's so many locations in, in a small area really. And it's just epic from that point of view. You take the Causeway Coast, for example, you can take a 45 minute drive along that coastal road and hit 10 awesome epic locations on that 45 minute drive. And I don't know anywhere in the world that has as many options as that and not just like places that look awesome because you can drive in an in awesome mountain somewhere and to a large extent starts to look very similar samey sort of feel and vibe and everything if you drive for 45 minutes but you take the causeway coast you can go from like just beautiful mountainous coastal views to epic cliffs dropping off into the sea to the giant's causeway somewhere just totally unique only a handful of places in the world that look like that and then you go to like castles and these ancient places like Kinbane, and Severic, and Luce, all those sort of places like that and then somewhere like Ballantoy which is completely different as well and all of that just within like a one hour drive or 45 minute drive along that coastal road so Northern Ireland is jam-packed with some epic places for elopements 
So I hope this video has been useful and helpful for you. If you've learned anything from it, I'd appreciate a like. And if you wanna know more about Northern Ireland and eloping, then subscribe and hit me up, connect with me. If you're planning to elope in Ireland or Northern Ireland, I'd love to hear from you, connect, even if I don't shoot it, if I can just help you and give you some resources that may help you on your way to planning a dream elopement, I'd love to do that. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.